so I recently brought in Malik Yoba for an interview. Mm -hmm. And in my conversation with him, I had mentioned the Michael Jai White interview where Michael Jai White said he would never wear a dress in a role. Were you ever asked, you know, ever had a role where you were going to dress like a, you know, dress like a woman in that role had you accepted it? No, I, it was it was a part of a comedy. Uh, I was doing a, um, a sitcom and it was just a quick suggestion. I'm like, oh, can't, I'm, I'm not doing that. And it, oh, okay, cool. It was, just, it was not, <laughs> that, that it, was but it was not that, yeah. no conspiratorial type of thing like that. Okay. His agents know better than to even bring that shit and to And that's why he fucks with you, Michael J. White. Black guy. That's the homie, white that's the homie man. I, I, really, I really liked the Michael J. White interview, and me and him have actually kept in contact. He invited me for a fight party. You know, I love home. Michael J. White. That is my dude, and Black Dynamite is one of my favorite fucking movies. Let me tell you, at, at Michael's house, he has a Black Dynamite Afro pick that is the size of you. <laughs> I guess they put it like in trees and stuff like that, like during the promo run. Oh, that's you crazy. Grab one of them. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man, I love Di Black Dynamite. Well, you know, and we talked about the whole thing about black men wearing dresses and so forth. And Malik Yoba said he actually wants roles where he would wear a dress and act like a woman. So my one man show, Hall in the Hollywood, I play over 15 characters. My show is set in a therapist's office. Uh, one of the main characters is Gladys Ro Rosenberg, who's an old Jewish woman. She's a therapist. That's me. I play two trans characters in it. I play an old Spanish man. I play an old Italian guy. I play an old Jamaican woman. So for me, we're vessels. And the goal is to show humanity in all of its fullness. And I'm half man, half woman. My mother birthed me. I'm half of that. And I think for a lot of men, um, we really have a problem identifying with that side of ourselves because we have some notion that that doesn't make you man. Well, you couldn't be a man without a woman. And I thought you also my said- my Virgo brother, Malik. <laughs> This is very and, you know, un Virgo of you. Very <laughs> un Virgo. And he understands that there there are conspiracies of, you know, black men in Hollywood, you know, having to, you know, demasculate themselves mm -hmm. and so forth. By these diabolical believe, he, dick shrinking motherfuckers. And uh but he said he doesn't believe in that and, and for him in terms of acting, he said straight out, said, I want roles like that where I'm forced to wear dresses or act like a woman or do things to push my acting ability to the limits. Because, you know, I mean, Malik, you know, Malik is, has been a, a serious actor for a very long time, and you can't take any of that away from him. Now, saying that, hearing that, what are your thoughts on it? You bugging, Malik. You bugging, Malik. Like, like, I'm sorry, like, like, and I fucks with Malik Yoba, but... He's bugging if he thinks that the emasculation of black men, especially in media and, and in Hollywood, is not a real thing. Um, listen, if he wants to do that, though, that's on him. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not here to try to stop him or, or, or even talk him out of it, or, but I'm just saying, like, that's some that's some that's some other shit right there. Like like, and I don't feel that makes you any more of a serious actor because you're willing to, you know, play a transvestite and all this type of shit. Honestly, I feel like that's him just telling the powers that be. Listen, I'm ready to do whatever the fuck y'all need me to do. Hire me for some good shit. <laughs> Hire me for some shit because I'm I'm ready. Put me in the game, coach. Because I'll well, do whatever, and it's like well, you know people. Uh, people sometimes forget that you're an actor as well. Yes, you know, just came you up. Have, in a, 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 you have other jobs as opposed to you know sitting on my couch. But like <laughs> right, but just like Michael Jai White, my manager knows 
Don't even send me in for no shit that involves something that I'm not morally comfortable with. Mainly playing some sort of homosexual slash transvestite, whatever the case may be. You know, I'm not with it. There's plenty of other people that are with it. And I probably get less calls because of that. See what I'm saying? My phone probably doesn't ring as much as it would if I would say, put me in the game, coach. I'm ready to do whatever. Then it's like, oh, okay, I got something for you. But, yeah. Well, I guess that you were actually asked to audition for the role of Omar in The Wire. Correct. Who was a gay gangster character. Correct. And you purposely did not audition for that. I did not go. I said, absolutely not. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to get to the point where, you know, because with my luck, I would have fucking got it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have got it. They would have been offering me all this, you know, and made it, try to make it even harder for you to fucking say no. I'm not even putting myself in that position. Like, no, I'm not doing it. And y'all could think whatever you want to think. I'm not doing that. And then after that is when I told my manager, please don't send me on no shit like that again. Like, 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 don't, yeah, don't send me no shit like that. Cause I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not willing to be that kind of actor. Like, although I enjoy acting, I don't take it that seriously where I'm willing to like trick myself into believing that I'm someone else at that moment. You see what I'm saying? You're still that person, even though you're playing a character. So I might be playing a character who kisses a man, but at the end of the day, that's really me kissing a man. You know what I mean? I can't say, oh, I was playing a character. Nah, like that's you doing that. So, okay. So, so here, here's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. What if you were offered to play a gay role? Nope. And even though oh, it didn't wait, have wait, no wait, kissing wait. and nothing, I know what you're going to say. Go ahead. What am I going to say? You're going to say it's a gay role, but I don't have to do anything gay. Nope, 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 nope. What you going to say? A gay role in an animated film. No. <laughs> well, you're not actually kissing anybody. You're just in a booth doing the lines. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's the same. This is what I'm saying. Like, even if my character was just gay, but he didn't kiss anybody or there was no physical, you know what I mean? I'm still not doing that. Because I'm not promoting, I'm not trying to help promote that either. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to help perpetuate that lifestyle and that train of thought. 